wars. At, at a certain point, um, like, uh, what is, um, at the very end of the war, Japan started, they started clearing out their universities. And they were like, it was total war. Like, right. And, and they actually. Well, the that's end. when the U.S. was doing firebombing of the yeah. cities. Yeah. Uh, and it was to. supposedly a big event in Tokyo when they got firebombed. It was the Sumo Kyokai, the headwaters of Sumo in Tokyo, uh, was hit in the firebombing, and several wrestlers were dispensed to save the, the Yemper's Cup. And the Yoshibiyama, who was, was the, the great uh, sumo wrestler, certainly before the war, and this is in the days where they'd have two tournaments a year, now they have six, so it's very hard to compare records. But he, he had something like 18 wins, you know, that's like nine years. 18. Worth, you know, 18 tournaments. Right. And now somebody just broke the record for the, you know, 34. Yeah. But, I, but that's six tournaments a year. Right. So Yoshibiyama himself took it upon himself to run into the fire and drag this thing out and got champion. severely burned. That's a champion. Right. Yeah. Uh, there is a, uh, he's like one of the great Yokozuna and then, um, Taiho. Well, Taiho, like, that was my parents, um, during their period, like, he, right. like, and he was the greatest up until, like, Chiono Fuji. Right, was like, who was, who, who, uh, was totally juiced, he, he, he because was the, it was liable, he had a lot of injuries, and he took steroids for his injuries. And he just, also, and, op he lifted weights, which was a big and deal. And he was a very, I mean, for a small guy, he was, he was like, uh. He was great. Yeah. And it was, he was left-handed. Yeah. That was his, his strong arm was his left hand. Right. If he could get, if I he actually could get. saw some. You know, like somebody people sent me some tapes of, of his. Uh, you know, uh, ascendancy to mm -hmm. uh, first Ozeki, and it's a big deal. He beat the guy. He beat was, uh, uh, the fuck is his name? Kitanomi. 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 I was gonna say his. He changed his later name later to Futahaguro, huh. which was a combination of Tabayama and Haguroyama. Okay. Two great 20th century right. uh, Yokozuna. Right. And um, the Hangro, he was, uh, he was um, promoted to Yokozuna without having won a single right. show. Right, that's a rare thing to happen. Yeah. And uh, he, he ended up not ever winning. Right. One. And then he became a pro wrestler. That he wasn't an asshole. He just didn't quite... Measure up at that level. Yeah. Well, he was. He was. That was still the tail end of Chiyono Fuji's career. So he right. was always going to have to go up against him. Right. And then he had this rival named um, Hokutomi. Right. Who was, looked like he had been punched in the right. face a bunch of times, and he was just like he was short. Like Kitao was, right. was tall and had long arms. Right. But in a if if people could get people would get underneath his elbows right. and kind of like. Right. Get lower than him. He was kind of this embarrassment. Right. See, when I first started watching, it was like Chiyoda Fuji was j just become Ozaki, and who was Wajima was still around. He, to me, was like Killer Kowalski. He had this really terrific American wrestling look. And he was, he was, he, he betrayed his, he was married to his stable master's daughter and he fucked somebody else and, uh, the shame. He was uh -huh. forced just for that, for adultery. He was forced to retire, and he was thrown completely out of sumo. And he became a wrestler. Yeah, right? in in the eighties, he became yeah. a pro wrestler. Right. He came yeah. to actually. He came to America to train. Huh. He might have gone to like Tennessee. But I remember he as a sumo guy. He was he, he, he big hands and a great grip. And, yeah. Yeah. And the other one who wasn't so good was uh, Walking Ohana, who was a very underachiever, Yokozuna. He, yeah, he's kind of he's kind of round. Right. Right. But Chiyoda Fuji was always, it just seemed like it was the laws of physics. He'd be in these dire situations where he'd just come up with the move. If you put enough behind it, it's going to win for you. Well, he was so short. Yeah. And like, but he was really, he was strong enough where he would actually basically be doing this. Right. And then trying, and so people were kind of reaching around. It's like trying to kind of almost reach behind him and grab his. Right. 
and he would just kind of and he was just kind of wiggle his ass and just like right and then eventually if he could get a good grip of, with his left right then it was just a matter he was of time. A patient guy yeah but i remember when he first when i first saw him he weighed 217 and he, he's you know marginal uh you know Makanuchi division mm -hmm. and then put on the weight and uh you know i think you know there might have there probably were um pro rest or uh, uh sumo wrestlers who lifted weights but no one would right. admit to it right but he uh, he admitted to it in the press he was so strong i remember that he you know like the what's it you grab the belt and push him out what is it called uh the the what's that move we just nothing but you push oh, him no oshidashi you do a little slapping the push out is uh Whatever, whatever it is, it's a generally boring move, but effective it's, it's, if you get the belt. Yeah. And he was so strong that if he got the belt, he would just <clears throat> push him out. Yeah. Right. But oh, this is the movie he did, Uch Uchari, which is the name for if you're if you're you're at the end and your heels are right there, and you just get pushed over. It's so easy, where he could shift uh, and somehow just change the leverage. And, and then he'd be the one on top. Yeah. Yeah, he was great. Right. That was like, and that was also like, he would, there would be these, like, um, what was his meat bomb? Konishiki was also playing. Well, he was somebody who, uh, and, he got bad knees, yeah. and then all he could do was lean forward. Yeah. And, I mean, he was just like, he also had, like, when he, when he, when he could kind of, when he had lighter feet. Right. He could actually, he could just do the big like. I like uh, yeah, I like seeing his really big people, who uh, you know it was like being a tank and just you know slapping them out. And the other one who was good at that for a while, he was he became a Kozna, and then just really fell down. The fuck was his name? Not Terrell. No, this was uh, at the time that uh, he was Hawaiian, and there was another. Uh, it was he. He looked somehow in a strange way. He looked something like Dan Marino, <laughs> with a very fat face. But uh, not, whatever not, his name you're was, you're not talking about Jesse Takamiya. No, that's before. I once Seven. I once interviewed him a long, long time ago. Nice guy. And uh, but uh, oh, what the f uh, he had a lot of vowels in his name. So I didn't always know how to pronounce it. But the guy, after that, a Samoan guy was also Yakozna. Sort of a roundish guy. Mm -hmm. What was his name? Uh, wow. I think he's now a, a state.